Verification has always been an important part of the work that journalists do. But with the internet and social media especially, verification has become more challenging. Anyone today can post something on the internet, on social media, on platforms like Twitter and Facebook, and make it seem or appear legitimate, incredible. Journalists are often working under time pressure to be the first to report or to fill airtime in the 24-hour news cycle. So the goal is to create an online veracity tool that will allow journalists to quickly track is that particular rumor likely to be true or false? And who are the sources behind a particular rumor? Um, where is that person potentially located? You know, is he close or far from, from the event? How many followers does he have? And what have other users on social media been saying either about that particular source or about the particular tweet? Um, but there will also be an interactive element where any user, including journalists, can share information about a particular story. Susinfo's role in the project is to gather as many stories as possible um, in, in which there are potential rumors and then annotate these rumors with various values. And then we pass on all of that information to partners who are building the tool. In 2014, the son of a Nazi-era art dealer by the name of Cornelius Gerlitt died. He had inherited a huge collection of art from his father, but some of the pieces had apparently been stolen from their Jewish owners. In his will, Gerlitt uh, had bequeathed the, the entire collection to the Museum of Fine Arts here in Bern. Rumors started circulating on Twitter that, um, and in the news media that that they were in fact going to accept it. And um, the original sources of that rumor was uh, a reporter from the Wall Street Journal in the US. Uh, and very soon after that, a number of news organizations in Germany were also reporting the same thing. Um, but the museum actually went so far as to go on Twitter itself to say, no, no, no. Um, so basically denying that this rumor was true, but as it turned out, you know, on the Monday, um, they announced that they were going to accept um, that collection. So that was a story for which we, we quickly um, collected as many tweets as possible so that afterwards we could go back and go through all of the data and pick out those tweets that were starting the rumor or um, adding to the rumor or sharing the rumor. Our partners will now take all of this information, all of these annotated tweets to train their algorithms so that the system can eventually recognize on its own when uh, a piece of information might potentially be true and when a source might potentially be credible. So that by the end of the project, we can offer journalists a tool that will really make a difference in their work, help them to detect rumors and verify them much faster than they're able to now.